RFD TV presents Gentle Giant with Pam Minnick and Katie Kaufman. We're at Young Living Farms in beautiful Mona, Utah, just south of Salt Lake City. Gary and Mary Young founded this farm for their Young Living Essential Oils business. In the summer, these fields are full of lavender and other plants necessary to distill the essential oils. But when fall rolls around, Young Living Farm comes alive with the Fall Festival and Draft Horse Show. It's three days of family fun, great concerts, a thrilling rodeo, and one of the biggest draft horse shows in the West. This year's Draft Horse Show is dedicated to the memory of Gary Young and celebrates his love for horses. My husband, Gary Young, believed that animals and the land were a part of the human being, and that a human being wasn't full if they hadn't as an association to animals, and they couldn't walk the land, they couldn't have their feet in the soil, they couldn't smell the flowers, and he wanted families to be able to come to our farm and be able to enjoy that very thing. He had such a deep love of the earth and a deep love for horses. And of course, I was just a city girl and that all became part of my life after we were married. And so I kind of followed him around as his love of the animals and the farms have evolved. And it's as much a part of my life and my children's lives as it was of his. We call this the Mona Farm, but it's so much more than a farm. It was Gary's passion and his dream to see families come out here and experience and be part of this. And we hear over and over again, oh my God, we didn't know this was here. Uh, because we do the concert, we have the petting zoo, we have the jousting, we have the Wild West show, uh, we have the Indian show, and then uh, we, we have a whole medieval village with blacksmiths, and uh, it's really uh, an all-day entertainment for the families. And it's just amazing to watch the kids light up when they get their face painted. And also, uh, in including in that, we, of course, we have the draft horse show, and we have, you know, a professional rodeo that we put on for the PRCA. I can't tell you the joy I get when I see the kids running around here, just having a great time. There's so much that you can see at the Young Living Farms. It's a beautiful facility. It's set in the valley. You see the mountains all around you. It, that part of it's simply beautiful. You can go for a paddle boat ride. You can watch the Indians having powwow dances. You can watch the draft horses. You can go visit the old town where they have all the buildings from the bank to the post office to the jail. You can watch jousting. There's something for everyone here. Visitor Center is the heart of Young Living Farm. It's where members and the public can come in and learn about Young Living and the essential oils. They can sample them. They can take these products home to their families and, and share them with their families. So it's, it's a real knowledgeable place. We have visitors all year round. You can always go down and look at the animals, look at the horses, come and visit our horses. They're, they're our pride and joy of Young Living Farm. We usually try to make sure that there's always one or two teams driving around the park because the park is open six days a week. He loved to draft horses because of how powerful they were, but yet how gentle they were and majestic. He was not whole if he didn't have a horse. He was a man who wanted people to love what he loved. He wanted him to feel the excitement of nature, the excitement of the Old West. He wanted to bring the enjoyment of horses to other people because he enjoyed them so much. He wanted to bring a taste of what he loved to the community 
and to the people, and that's why he created this. And now it's it's become to be one of the most, uh, you know, everybody everybody kind of starts putting their days off for for this event. So they they come and, and join us here. Um, and I think that was part of his vision. You could see his passion because of the facility and the horses that he had and how he worked with them. Um, I mean, Gary was a very important man, had a lot of stuff to do and a lot of stuff going on, but he still made a lot of time to make sure that he spent time here with the Draft Horse Program. Horses fit in. It, it was really Gary's dream to have, you know, the, the, this horse teams. And where they fit in in marketing and branding is that they travel around the country and we set up corporate booths at all these different draft horse shows. And we introduce people who have, would never have come across Young Living uh, to show them that not only is it the essential oils for people, but we have a whole animals line. We have a whole equine line. And uh, so that's where these horses uh, and the, the show team and the demo team, that's where they fit in. Um, and they're great brand ambassadors for us. We try to provide the caliber of, of with the hitches, of whether it's exhibition or show, that the company tries, tries to put out there in their products. Um, you know, pure and powerful products, pure and powerful horses. We, they, uh, you know, we try to exemplify what the company stands for. You know, besides the lavender and the distillery, the rest of the facility is, is focused around horses, and a good portion of it is draft horses and the Fall Festival Draft Horse Show. Our goal here at Young Living is to bring essential oils to every household in the world. And one thing that we offer at Young Living during events is, how can I learn more about Young Living and the products? And with that, we have a booth set up that the public can go, they can sample oils, they can pick up information about Young Living, as well as enjoy all the different activities that we have here at the farm. It's about as down home, western, family-oriented, all-natural advertising, I think, that you can get these days. When we return, we'll head into the Big Draft Horse Barn here. It's one of the reasons that hitches make this a must-attend show. Stay with us. Gentle Giants returns in just a moment. Welcome back to Gentle Giants. In just five short years, the Young Living Fall Festival and Draft Horse Show went from a concept to an event that attracts hitches from across the U.S. and Canada. The amenities here and hospitality are a few of the reasons why. We would go to the Denver Stock Show and we'd sit up in the bleachers and he'd say, Mary? I'm going to bring this to our farm in Mona. And he'd walk around and he'd talk to the Teamsters and he got to know them and he, he'd ask them how they'd feel about coming to Utah. He came home, sat down at his drafting table, drew it all out. I mean, he designed this barn, he designed the Frisian barn, and he designed the barn that all the Teamsters housed their horses. And, and he knew what they needed and he wanted to make it perfect for them. He wanted them to be able to come here and have washing machine and dryer and hot and cold water and hookups for their motor homes and everything. He wanted it to be spectacular for them. And you know, that's what they all say. So the Draft Horse Show is our crowning glory for this farm, and that was a passion of Gary Young. And when he asked four years ago, he says, Liz, I really want to bring a Draft Horse Show to Young Living. Me being the city girl that I am, had no knowledge of horses, and over the years, I have fallen in love with these gentle giants. They're amazing creatures, and the families that run these hitches uh, come out here. We strive to provide them with the best hospitality. Our home is their home when, while they're here, and it's been a real honor to be able to bring this Draft Horse Show to where it is today. 
this facility is bar none the best facility we've ever shown out of. Uh, you sleep 10 feet away from your horses. You are able to check on them in the night if you need to, and you know, that kind of peace of mind. Building a facility like this, the, the barn, you know, that can house, um, you can fit 240 stalls in it, uh, room for 18 to 26 horse hitches at max capacity. Um, and, you know, each exhibitor has a door to get out of their own alleyway. It's convenient. He was so generous and so kind and so worried about the exhibitors and making sure that we had what we needed and that we were having fun and it was enjoyable for us. And you could tell that it meant so much to him, that it was really important to him that we were treated with respect. Gary made sure that we felt important here and that we understood that there wasn't a show without the draft horse exhibitors. Someone come from the farm comes and checks on us every night. What do you need? Do you have what you need? And I know that that's Gary's legacy, is making sure that we understand we're, we're important and, and appreciated for what we're doing. become an exhibitor at the Young Living Farm, you become part of their family. They welcome you every night with a dinner or breakfast in the morning. The, the amenities here are tremendous. The barn, when he built this barn, he put everything in it that you could think of. The stalls are spacious. The aisleways are covered with um, the mats, so it's easy to walk the horses on. There's restrooms that are beautiful. There's showers for the exhibitors. There's a laundry mat inside the barn for the exhibitors. Beautiful wash rack. Everything is top notch here. Well, with 15 hitches here this year, uh, you know, people that could come to this show and gain points for the Classic Series final. Um, and I think each year it's going to get bigger and bigger. The barn's able to hold 24 hitches, if I remember right. So if that's the case, you know, that's as big as any, any show out there. And he treats us good. Uh, they feed us breakfast and take care of us. And then at nights when we're done showing horses, we're able to go to the concerts and spend time with our family and friends and, and do things with them. So, uh, like I say, it's a real good experience here. Our group, you know, we're a family organization. We, we, everybody comes and we all have a good time. We, there's just things for everybody in the family to do. And uh, like I say, not only are you here with your family and friends, but you're here with the fellow exhibitors, what we all consider part of our family and friends. He really was a visionary, and case in point would be the Fall Festival here. Um, you know, he had the, the idea to make this into a show, you know, like, like he attended at the Denver Stock Show. He, he really enjoyed it, and every year the show gets uh, better and better and uh, it's a tribute to him, because um, he had the vision to bring a show like this to the farm in Mona, Utah. The arena is absolutely huge here. It's a uh, great footing in the arena. Uh, I can't say enough about all of the facilities here that are just outstanding. It's amazing. I've driven in a lot of big arenas, but you don't really grasp how big that one is until you really drive in it. We only make a lap each way, um, and that seems like uh, most shows, you know, you drive two or three each way, and uh, one lap each way, you know, it, it's a full class, and, you know, so you got lots of room to let your horses show, and, and uh, the atmosphere out there is great, you know, they have music going, and, and uh, good crowd, and it's a lot of fun. has become one of the biggest shows of the West. And all of the exhibitors that take time to come and be a part of the Young Living Draft Horse Show, they all put it at the top of their list as one of the best shows around. This year, we had three national champions competing in the different breeds here. We had the national champion Shire Six Horse Hitch. We had the national champion Percheron Gelding Six Horse Hitch and we had the national champion Belgian gelding six horse hitch. So when you talk that there was 16 hitches here and we had three of the best in the industry in their respected breeds, that 
sets the standards high for all these exhibitors. But at the same time, there are family hitches that are coming here, and they make it just as amazing. They feel a part of the show, they feel a part of the family, they interact with all of the draft horse people that they normally wouldn't see, people that come out of Canada or come from the Midwest. It's just a great melting pot for everybody to come together. The Young Living Percherons and Frisians bring joy to visitors here at Young Living Farm and on the road at exhibitions across the country. We'll see them perform when Gentle Giants returns. Stay with us. Welcome back to Gentle Giants at Young Living Farms. Jason Goodman is the draft horse manager here, and he's a skilled teamster and showman. There are two traveling Percheron hitches and the beautiful Frisians that represent the brand. Gary spent a lot of time in France uh, because they grow a lot of lavender there, and that's where he learned how to distill the lavender. Um, the Percheron is a French breed that come out of France. It's kind of neat, it's a French horse um, advertising for a company that sells a lot of lavender oils. Tim Sparrow, which drives the um, show hitch, his primary job is to do the competition classic series shows to get enough points to get to the finals. And then the other portion of the program, which is the exhibition hitch, which I'm the primary driver of the exhibition hitch as well. And the exhibition hitch is more for marketing. So we primarily, we do a lot of PRCA rodeos, horse expos, horse shows, mule shows, Bishop Mule Days out in California. The Percherons are very smart, they're very athletic. Um, for the exhibition that I do, which is rather high, high paced, small figure eights, docking, spin the top, running, stagecoach run. The Percheron is a very athletic, very smart horse. And even I like them because um, the black horse you get in some of these big stadiums with spotlights and stuff, uh, you can't go wrong with a black horse with a bunch of chrome on them. Your champion today, ladies and gentlemen, the Young Living Percherons under the guidance of Mr. Tim Sparrow. The show hitch actually ended up in the Percheron division second and uh, fifth in the country overall this year. So we were pretty happy with the whole program. And the horses are so well taken care of. These horses are loved by the people who are here. When Gary bought Bandido, and that was the horse that Gary rode when he carried the flag in, and it was such a thrill for him. Felix had trained Bandito, and he couldn't bear to lose his horse. So because Gary bought the horse, Gary was able to lure Felix to come and work for us here at the farm. Bandito was actually ridden by Gary to do the opening ceremonies, and now I get the privilege to, to do that with him, and you know, he's, He's a horse that, that doesn't forget anything. He knows his cues, he knows how to, he's a performer for sure still at his age. Frisians are, were bought first to entertain. We have a breeding program that um, we're starting actually to uh, show our own, our own uh, horses that we've actually bred and raised here. So it's pretty exciting. We have some of the top bloodlines here in this farm and, and we can, I plan on continuing that, you know, for years to come. As far as the fall uh, festival goes, we came out with a new horse this year to perform. Since we've been using the Frisians for the last two years, I wanted to bring something new, something a little bit more uh, entertaining and, and showy, so I trained Romano for uh, to be a performer, and um, he seems to be doing a good job with it. Everything about this show has become just so professional and so top-notch, and it's like every year they try and do something better. And we didn't think they could top the last year. There's no comparison, so we're glad to be here. I know that Mary 
will keep it going and that the family, you know, will always re remember his legacy at this event. And we hope that we can be a part of, of helping them to remember how great he was and his passion for draft horses. To see all of those six horse hitches coming back into the arena and seeing the mountains in the background, it honestly is one of the most beautiful scenery focused shows that I've ever been to. And the team here has come together and with Gary's visions, they've carried through what he's wanted and what he dreamed of having here, one of the best draft tour shows around. And now his wife, Mary, carrying on the tradition and, and just being so wholeheartedly caring about these exhibitors and, and inviting them and, and making sure that they feel welcome and that they have everything they need. I think the staff and the crew at Young Living deserve a blue ribbon themselves. You'll see their passion and they're here to help out with the kids, with the horses, with whatever it takes. And it's a team effort and it's a huge team that comes together to put this on. It's a wonderful place. And when people come, we want them to come and just be able to enjoy what's here. And ladies and gentlemen, winning our first blue ribbon of the 2018 Young Living Draft Horse, very appropriately as the skies open up and Mr. Gary Young is looking down and smiling, your champion today, ladies and gentlemen, the Young Living Pertrens under the guidance of Mr. Tim Sparrow. thank each of you for watching Gentle Giants this week. Pam and I always have a great time here at Young Living. It is so beautiful here. We want to thank the entire staff here at Young Living Farms. And if you haven't marked your calendar for next year, do it right now. It'll be in September and we'll see you next year at the Young Living Fall Festival and Draft Horse Show. In the meantime, you can always see what we're up to on our Facebook page. Bye now. <laughs>